Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Music Lyrics Explained 3. Today we're going to look at a song by Eric Clapton, a very famous song that he wrote uh, quite a couple of decades ago now, uh, called Tears in Heaven. Okay, let's take a look at the note here first. Uh, Eric Clapton's son, Connor, died at four and a half years old. Uh, when he fell out of a 53-story window of his mother's New York City apartment. They say Eric Clapton expressed his grief, his great sadness, in this song. So, you really need to know that as a background, so it helps you to understand the words better. Anyway, just like usual, I'll read the lyrics and explain them as we go along. Alright, let's, uh, let's, let's start uh, with the first one. Would you know my name if I saw you in heaven? Would it be the same if I saw you in heaven? So, I mean, obviously he knows that, you know, he'll probably never see his son again, at least in this world. And maybe, you know, he's hoping, of course, that, you know, after he dies, that maybe he will see his son again in the next world, in heaven. Uh, and he's really asking because, you know, we, we all don't really know what happens. And uh, he's asking, you know, will it be the same? W will I still be your father? Will you still be my son? Uh, so would you know my name? Would you even recognize me? So that's what he's saying. Would you know my name if I saw you in heaven? Would it be the same if I saw you in heaven? I must be strong and carry on. All right, well, here, of course, it means he has to stay strong because, of course, he was going through great pain and great grief. So he's got to be strong just to continue with his life, bearing this terrible tragedy that he went through. Carry on, carry on. Well, here we say to, to carry on with one's activities. Really, in this case, he means to carry on with his life. Continue. Continue being a songwriter. Con continuing doing what he usually does and living his life. So he says, uh, yeah, uh, I must be strong and carry on because I know I don't belong here in heaven. He's basically saying he knows it's not his time. Uh, he can't be in heaven yet because it's not his time. He's still alive. So Again, he's just showing that he's feeling the pain that he won't be able to see his son again until, you know, until maybe after he dies. And then, of course, it continues. Would you hold my hand if I saw you in heaven? Would you help me stand if I saw you in heaven? So again, he's also asking, like, would it be the same? Because just like... A father holds a son's hand, you know, would it be the same? Or would it be like when we were alive? So, would you hold my hand if I saw you in heaven? Would you help me stand if I saw you in heaven? I'll find my way through night and day. Because I know I just can't stay here in heaven. So I'll find my way, meaning somehow I'll get through this. Somehow I'll survive this great tragedy. Uh, through night and day, you know, that's the day. Every day we have a day every, uh, and we have a night. You got to bear through it. It's probably, it was probably on his mind for a long time, especially right after his son's death. All right, and then, of course, it, it continues. Uh, and it go, goes into this chorus here. Uh, time can bring you down, time can bend your knees, time can break your heart. All right, so basically what he's saying, uh, uh, well, if, if you bring someone down, it means to make someone unhappy. So if time can bring you down, you, you never know what's going to happen in your life. You never know what tragedies may befall you or may, may happen to you that's unexpected. Uh, life has a way of, you know, throwing things at you. Can you handle them? Uh, time can bring you down. Time can bend your knees. Bend your knees, well, it, or, or on your knees, or bend your knees. It's the idea of, like, begging. Uh, begging, like, please say this is not true. Something like that. So, uh, on your knees, uh, there can 
uh, time can break your heart. And of course, his heart was greatly broken. And that's that's what the line goes on to say. Have you beg him, please? Beg him, please? So, you know, he was probably almost wishing it could be reversed. It could be taken back. So, and then he goes on to say, Beyond the door, there's peace, I'm sure. And I know there'll be no more tears in heaven. So this is where the title comes from. Now, of course, when he says beyond the door, uh, in this phrase, he is alluding to beyond the door of life. You know, after he dies, maybe going into the spiritual world or going into heaven. So he's, that, that's basically what he's saying. Beyond the door, there's peace, I'm sure. Well, he's hoping that at least the, the pain of his son's death will have ended by that time, because maybe he can see his son again. That's what he's hoping. Uh, and, uh, and I know there'll be no more tears in heaven, because maybe on earth he's still having tears. Okay. And then, of course, basically the rest of the song goes on and repeats the chorus that we've already covered again. You know, would you know my name if I saw you in heaven? Uh, you know, would it be the same? So basically the rest of the song we already covered the lyrics of. But anyway, it's a very good song. It's a very touching song. It makes a lot of people think. I know maybe a lot of people that lost, people that are close to them, it, it often comforts them to hear this song. It is a really good song. I know it's a little bit on the sad side, but it's also very good if you listen to it. It makes you think. It gives you food for thought. Anyway, I hope you, I hope you liked it. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.